Now, in this section, what are you going to do when you have sources connected in parallel, sources connected in series? For example, watch this. If we have this problem, These are uh, voltage sources connected in series. Let's make this five, this is two. Can I take these three sources, replace them with one source equivalent to that? Yes. Well, let's look and see. If I do KVL here, Kirchhoff vol voltage law, I say I'm gonna assume the current's traveling in this direction. So what do we have? We have plus 3, I'm looking at the source down the bottom, minus 5, plus what? 2, plus, and I'll mark this plus to minus what? 8i is equal to 0. And what happened to these sources? Mathematically, this number is what? 0. The current is 0. So it looks like I took these three sources, replaced them with one source of value of zero. Because mathematically, the way these numbers worked out, that's fine. But now if these numbers were different, 13, 15, and 12, you're not going to end up with a zero here. What's 13 minus 15? Negative 2 plus 12, that'll be what? Plus 10. That means I can replace that with one source of value plus 10 if this was 13, 15, and 12. So when you have sources connected like this in the same direction, 5, 3, 4, you can replace these with one source since they all go in the same direction. And what's the value? What's 4 plus 3 plus 5? 12 volts. On the other hand, if my sources were like this, 5, 3, 4, what's the value of that? Again, think of KVL. If you're driving this way, there'll be what? Negative 4 plus 3 negative 5. What's negative 4 plus 3 and negative 5? Negative, negative 6. So that'll be minus on the bottom plus on the top 6 volts this way. So as a rule now when you have sources connected Sources connected in series. That's what these are. Voltage sources in series. So if I have these voltage sources, that's V1, V2, and let me reverse V3, V3. The result of that can be replaced with one source, plus to minus. I'm making it the same direction as this. That'll be what? V1 plus V2, what about V3? Minus V3. Again, if you pretend there is a resistor attached, there you go in this direction, you go, that's plus V3, minus V2, minus V1. And if you go in this way, that's minus V1, minus V2, and plus V3. What about this one?
So they're saying it's still in the series. Isn't it? Okay, how about we do this? Yeah, but this one says V1, this is V2. So which one are you going to use? This is actually not allowed. This will damage your source. Because you're trying to make, when these are in parallel. Joe said they have the same voltage. Well, if they have the same voltage, how can this be five volts and that's three volts if they have the same voltage? So something has to give. Five and three, you know, this might go to four and this might go to four, or this might go to two and this one too, but you can't have voltage connected in series, voltage sources. And I mean parallel. You can only have them in series. Here it's okay, not okay. Now let's look at current sources. That's the voltage. Let's look at the current. Current sources are backward to voltage sources. If I have a current source of 3 amps here, two amps down, four amps this way, and let's say we have more stuff to the circuit here. I don't care what comes after that. That's like the rest of the circuit. What happens to these three sources here? If I look at this node right here, I can see all the current, let's, there's a current leaving here, we'll call it I sub X. All the current entering the node should equal all the current leaving that node. Well, what is going to that node? Three plus the four, right? And what's leaving that node? Two plus I sub X. When you do the math, the 3, the 4, and the 2, what do you have? Isn't that 5? So the equivalent of that will be what? One source going in with the value of 5 amps. And that's the rest of the circuit. There's your I sub X. So um, if you didn't have the current source I X, let's say you didn't have the the right portion of it, would it still? This one? Yeah, if you didn't have that right portion of it. There's no other yeah. leaving that node? Well, then we have a problem here. The current internal node should equal the current leaving that node. That can't be three, can't be two, and four. We have to have different numbers. Yeah. So now when we have current sources in parallel, and let's say this is I sub one, and this is I sub two, and this is I sub 3, and they're all connected in parallel. We can replace them with one current source. If I want it pointing upward in the same direction as these guys, that current has to equal to what? I1 plus I sub 2, what about this one? minus I sub 3. Has to be this plus this minus that one. And just like voltage source, you can't connect them in parallel. Guess what happens when you take two current sources and you connect them in series? And you make one 5 amps and you make one 2 amps. What's the result? This is not allowed. Again, this is a node. A node is a point that connects two or more elements. What did KCL said? All the currents entering the node should equal all the currents leaving that node. How can five amps enter the node, only two amps leave? Where is it gonna go? Can't be. So you can't connect current sources 
in series unless they have the same value. If both two amps and two amps, you're off the hook. But it's going to be a two amps, so why put two sources when you only need one? So if you put two amps in series with two amps, the result's still two amps. Why have two of them? So that's how we connect sources or simplify them. And again, the reason, because sometimes you see a problem, and you'll see I'm going to take a problem and simplify it by taking the source into one source. I have this problem. Nine volts. Three volts. One hundred ohms. Five volts. One volt. And that's two hundred and thirty ohms. Notice I got four sources connected how? In series. Now I can slide them around next to each other, the four sources. I can put them like this. That's the nine. That's the three. See this source here? Flip-flop the resistor on the source. Put the source here, right there. One. That's the 230. See that source here? Let's move it where this resistor, put the resistor there. Instead of putting on the top here, let's make this a little bit higher and connect that source here. Notice the minus here, if you slide this one down, the minus is going to be attached to the plus. It will look like this. Now, this is plus to minus, plus to minus, plus to minus. I can add them. They're all pointing in the same direction. Five and nine is what? Fourteen, three. So between these guys, plus to minus 17, but this is minus to plus, so I gotta take away from that one. What's 17 minus one? That's a 16. There's the 100 ohm. I can put the resistor anywhere I wanna put them. Bend them down the bottom on the side, doesn't change anything. And that becomes the equivalent of this one. This is equal to that. This is equal to this. This is equal to that. So now if I want to find the current through that, I'll do a one mesh equation. I go, let's do this. Negative 16 plus, because I'm going to mark this plus to minus traveling this way, 100i plus this would be what? How about I make it 220? It'll be a nicer number. Huh? Let's put 220 here. The number will be nicer. Plus what? 220i. What's 220 plus 100? 320? Now you can see why I made it 320. That's 16 and 32. 16 is half 32. What's 16 divided by 320? 0.05 amps. If I made it 330, that number is crazy. It keeps going on and on.
So when you have a lot of sources connected in series, you can combine them into one source. What about if you have a lot of current sources connected in parallel? Same thing, I connect them, I can simplify that into one current source. So let's say we have this problem, 2.5 amps, five, 2.5 pointing down, five, and three amps. And let's say I want to find the voltage across the resistor. What's V here? They're all connected, what, in parallel? Again, just like before, I can flip-flop them. I can move all the sources next to each other. 2.5. Put that 2.5 right next to it, the middle one. Put the 3 down. There's the 5. There's the V. So I decide to put all the sources next to each other. I get 2.5 up, 2.5 down, 3 down. What's the net result? 3 down. And I define V like this, plus to minus V. So it makes sense if I define I sub 1 coming down this way and I sub 2 coming down this way because that will be plus to minus. I can do KCL here. The current going to the top, which is what? 0 equals the current leaving. What's leaving? 3 amps plus I sub 1. What is I sub 1? How do you write I sub 1? V over what? Over 5. This voltage divided by that resistor. Plus I sub 2, which is what? V over 5. My LCD is 5, so if you multiply by 5, since we don't like fractions, 0 equals what? 15 plus, final answer 2V, yep. Negative 15 equals what? 2V, V equals negative 7.5 volts. That tells me actually the current's going to go down, it's going to mark it plus to minus, not plus on the top, minus on the bottom. It's going to be backward. But that's what I did. I took these sources, combined them into one single source.